Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, an illustrator and animator. And in this video, I'm going to explain how to paint clouds in Procreate. I've just published this book and it's a book which is called Little Angel. And the main character is built up from clouds. So I needed to study clouds to, you know, draw this character and in this video I'm going to explain how uh, I studied the clouds and how you can paint clouds in Procreate using two brushes. So let's get to the video. Because we're going to draw clouds we need the color of the sky and in the background color you can change the color of your background. So we're going to choose uh, a nice blue background and most of the time the sky has a bit of a gradient there's a great brush for creating gradients and you have to go to the brush set airbrushing and then to soft brush and the soft brush is the biggest brush you have in procreate here you can adjust the size and now you can see how big it is just zoom out and we're going to select the darker color and now we can make the gradient and just do it softly and build it up and you can make it bigger and now you see how big the brush is and for the bottom we're going to choose the lighter color and this is going to be the entire color scheme we're going to use to paint the cumulus cloud. For painting the cumulus cloud we're going to use a different brush and that's in the artistic set and it's called fresco. We're not going to paint it white because we're first going to draw or paint the darkest value and I've already selected the darkest value and that's a grayish tone. As I explained before Clouds are just built up from globes, overlapping globes, and you need some variety in your cloud. And don't press too hard because clouds are also a little bit transparent so that the background of the sky will shine through. And I'm just rotating my Apple Pencil to create some round shapes. So this is going to be the, the darkest part of the cloud. And you can also change the size of your brush. So it's actually the same principle as you're using when you uh, do it on paper. The basics remain the same. And now we're going to select the lightest color, so pure white, 100% white. And now we can paint in, and I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. So the light is hitting on the left side of the cloud and because they're all different shapes and overlapping shapes you can draw in some variety in the clouds and just use the, the darker value as the shape first going to do the extremes and later on we can blend the colors to make it a little bit more soft. I'm pressing really light you know, to build up the colors and maintain the transparency of the cloud so that still something of the blue sky is shining through. And some shapes are a little bit stronger than other shapes and you just have to keep in mind that you're drawing 
globes. So I just paint in a circular motion. And we're going to add a little bit more detail by making the brush a little bit smaller. So the pure whites will hit on the left side. And just draw the clouds with different kind of shapes and different kind of circles. Otherwise it will be too static. So you can just build up the different shapes in the cloud. And because we've first laid down the, the darkest value of the cloud, you can now just work with the highlights and with pure white. Most of the time the clouds are a little bit softer on the bottom. And what you can use is the smudge tool. So now we're going to smudge some of the artwork in the bottom and what I always do is set the transparency to around 50% and then you can gradually smudge your colors. So now we're going to refine the drawing a little bit more and select the brush again. And it's still the same brush. And now we can add some details. When you use values, you can make other things that are in the foreground pop up a little bit more. So this is the cloud part that's behind this part and just treat it as a globe so the this is a part of the cloud and this part is going to be a little bit darker because the light is coming from the left the right side will be darker And just paint in a, a circular motion and by pressing a little bit harder you get a stronger value so this is behind this part of the cloud so this will be stronger so this part of the cloud will be a lot darker I actually never use the smudge tool because then you'll lose the structure of your brush but with clouds you know it's great to use so I'm switching a lot between the smudge tool and the paint tool and with the paint tool I just add some details and, and highlights and with the smudge tool I just can soften the shapes a little bit more and blend it and what I sometimes do is just zoom out and it's the same principle as other artists who are working on a canvas or on paper. They just take a few steps back to see your entire um, painting. And you know, in Procreate you can just zoom out and then you see the total picture and if some things just stand out. And sometimes with clouds, there's also um, the, the sky shining through. And you can use the same brush and just use the eraser. And because you're drawing it on a separate layer, it won't affect the gradient you've made in your other layer. So I'm just going to paint or erase some of the clouds here so that the sun will shine through. And when you look at clouds, when there is a hole in the cloud,
then you sometimes see a rim of that cloud. So we've now erased it and now we can draw inside the cloud. And the sun is hitting just the rim of that part. And this part will be darker. So we're going to use the darkest value. And just to raise a little bit more that the sky will shine through. And you can, of course, also make your cloud a little bit sharper on the edges by using the eraser. So this is how you can paint a cloud in Procreate. If you like this video, uh, I also made another video about painting clouds and it's in real time and it's now available on Vimeo On Demand. And I'll leave some links in the description box down below or you can press on the eye on the upper right corner and that will take you to my Vimeo On Demand page. And in that video I will show this painting in real time and also how to draw multiple clouds in perspective in Procreate. So if you're interested in that I'll leave a link in the description box down below and you can check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. In that way you won't miss a single video. Also press on the little notification bell and then you get a notification each time I upload a new video. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!